Hey, what's going on guys? I've got here a 2006 Nissan Altima. And I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the important fuses for the blower motor. So there's actually four fuses in total and there's a blower motor relay as well. And we can find all of this behind this cover here. So we just pull this outward, let it rotate down. First thing I'll show you are two different 10 amp fuses that provide power to our control unit up there. So the first one is located all the way down here at the bottom right. I'll go ahead and pull it out. And this is what a good fuse looks like. Not sure if you can see into it very well, but uh, this fuse is intact. The next fuse is up here. And this fuse being a different form factor, I can tell this has been replaced already. Now technically this is not the correct fuse to use. It is a 10 amp fuse, but it's not the correct size, but these fuses are pretty much interchangeable. And uh, that also sends power to the control. Uh, and there is a fuse puller here that may come in handy if you don't have pliers. Now, the other two fuses I'm gonna show you, they're actually sending power directly to the blower motor. And normally if one of them blows, the other one will be blown as well. And those are these two 15 amp fuses here. These should be receiving power when the car is on. If the car is on and you don't see power here at the exposed metal on the fuse, then your blower motor relay may be failing. Now the blower motor relay is actually on the back of this assembly. And I'm gonna do my best to show you where it is. There are two relays back here. They're blue in color and they are actually the same part number. We can see them right up in there. The top relay is the blower motor relay. And the one underneath it is the accessory relay. So those are the uh, relays and fuses. Now, as far as the location of the blower motor itself, it's over here on the passenger side. Let's take a quick walk over there and check a few things out. This is what I do after I've checked the uh, fuses. I'll take a look at where the blower motor is. On this car, you can't see the bottom of the blower motor directly as it's behind this cover. Um, my favorite troubleshooting step is I'll have the blower motor turned on and I'll come down here with like a plastic sledgehammer and I'll actually hit, I'll hit the bottom of the blower motor really hard. And sometimes that can get the blower motor working again. Uh, if that's your experience, if hitting the bottom makes it start working again, then you may, you may have a failing connection inside the blower motor itself, and you might want to go ahead and plan on replacing it at some point. Um, as far as accessing it directly, there's a number of Phillips screws that you've got to remove in order to get this cover down. But um, yeah, so that's where you'll find the blower motor. I hope this information was helpful and at the very least was a good starting point in troubleshooting the blower motor on your Altima. If you have any advice, I'd love to hear about it down below and thanks for watching.